In this video tutorial, we're going to begin looking at something called a phase diagram. And phase diagrams explain how alloys change from solid to liquid at different compositions. So just before we start, I'll explain the diagram so that you know what you're looking at here. Now this particular phase diagram that we're looking at is for a lead tin alloy. Lead is PB, tin is SN. And lead tin alloys are used for solder in electronics. So let's take a look around the diagram to familiarize ourselves. The first thing we have along the x-axis is composition of tin within the alloy. So the alloy could be pure lead over here on the left hand side with 0% tin or it could be pure tin over here on the right hand side with 100% tin. If we were in the middle here on the x-axis then we would have a 50-50 mix. So going from left to right we see the tin content increasing within the alloy. On the y-axis on the left hand side we have the temperature in degrees C. So we see temperatures ranging from 0 up to around 350 degrees on this axis. So what we're looking at in effect is changes that occur in alloys of lead and tin at different temperatures and different compositions. Now we have different zones within this diagram. Top centre we have the liquid zone. So the liquid zone is represented by this entire region here. Another two zones of interest is on the far left hand side we have the alpha zone. On the far right hand side we have the beta zone. And at the bottom in the center we have the alpha plus beta zone. And I'll just explain each of these. So first of all the alpha zone on the left hand side is primarily lead. And we know that it's primarily lead because on the left hand side our tin contents are very low. Now this will be lead with a very small amount of tin dissolved within it. But alpha is primarily lead. By contrast, on the right hand side, the much smaller region, beta, is primarily tin. It will be tin with a small amount of lead dissolved. And we know that it's primarily tin because up here we're sitting at 98, 99 and 100% tin. So it's almost pure tin with a very small amount of lead dissolved. And in the middle, we have a mixture. Now, as we'll see as we go through this tutorial, in this region here, what's happening is we're getting layers of alpha and beta forming like so. Alpha, beta, alpha, beta, and so on. We end up with a kind of laminar structure with layers of lead and tin. So now that we've explained the diagram a little bit, let's clear some space and talk about some key points on the diagram. So the first key point on this diagram is this point here. And we're going to refer to this as the eutectic point. Eutectic. Now eutectic in Greek literally means easy melt or easy melting. So we have a eutectic point. Now from that eutectic point we can find two things. We can find the eutectic composition. It's written on our diagram there as 61.9 but the eutectic composition could be found by tracking downwards to this point here. Well what do we mean by 61.9? Well, we know from our x-axis that the eutectic composition is 61.9% tin, meaning the remaining 38.1% would be lead. So our eutectic composition is actually tin rich by weight. Our eutectic temperature then, tracking from the eutectic point left, would give us the eutectic temperature. And that's written on our diagram here as 183 degrees C. But what do we mean by eutectic and what do we mean by eutectic compositions and eutectic temperatures? Well as we mentioned eutectic means easy melting and what we notice at this eutectic point is at a composition of 61.9% we go immediately from liquid into alpha plus beta solid. 
So if you like, that's our change in state point. We're going from liquid to solid. And we're going directly from liquid to alpha plus beta solid. Once again, let's clear some space and explain that in a bit more detail. So at a composition of 61.9% tin, if we start at a temperature of say 200 degrees C and we begin cooling, then when we reach a temperature of 183 degrees C, our liquid is going to begin to turn to solid. And that change is going to occur completely at the temperature of 183 degrees C. By the time we get to 182 degrees C, all of our liquid has turned to solid. And it's turned to what we call alpha plus beta solid. And as we mentioned before, the appearance of that would be layers of alpha and beta, repeating units. Our alpha layers, when that's all turned to solid, will be primarily lead. Recall that we said alpha was lead rich, but it would still contain a small amount of tin. And our beta layers would be primarily tin, but they would still contain a very small amount of lead. In this case, 2.2% would still be lead dissolved within the tin. If we then continue to cool that solid, then what we notice here is that the percentage of tin within the alpha layer decreases below 10%. And we see similar on the right hand side, the percentage of lead within the tin decreases because essentially what happens is we get diffusion across these boundaries. The most important thing here is that 183 degrees represents the lowest temperature that liquid will turn solid or solid will turn to liquid, hence easy melt. And we end up with a nice regular layered structure as a result.